each house you go to in Mkushi's high cost area, you find dry tubs for Lukanga Water Supply and Sanitation Company with containers strategically placed waiting for water which may not even be restored. Those with water are individuals who have sunk boreholes. And those who are unable to drill boreholes are digging shallow wells. As one of the seasonal streams they used to fetch water from has dried up, and only some parts has water, which is also not clean. In a quest to have water, households here at one point donated money to buy couplings as officers from Lukanga Water said they had no money to this buy. This challenge, we've been having it since last year, December. That's how Mrs. Manda and myself, we started contributing money from the neighbors. We raised about 1,250. Then Mr. Solomon went and bought these couplings you are seeing here so that we can have water. We had water for like uh, two to three weeks. Then I don't know what Lukanga people came and did here. Yeah, they closed the valve. So we are unable to open the valve. I wish maybe Lukanga can just sell the company to other people who are capable because we are suffering. This is torture. The district commissioner is one of those affected with water both at home and at work. We have water challenges in Nikushi. Even at my residence there, only drops are coming. You can imagine the home of a DC, you go out to draw water in a container to come and flush a toilet. It's, it's a netfall. The water utility company, Lukanga Water Supply and Sanitation, has on several occasions stated that its water system is outdated and unable to supply the current population, and it seems the challenge will not be sorted out anytime soon. Meanwhile, Nobokalonga stated that having access to information law would improve service delivery. Information in Gaileva, Ilepica, Umuindi, development in Charuti Abam. So, Ilive, Lifunde, Lifunde, San, Alive Po. Because I know even the big people there, Vala Fisa information, they don't want us to know. Indeed, information is power. Joseph Siabe reporting for Ask ATI Project in Mokoshe.